What is going on guys, Sinister here, back with another video for you guys today. And I've been pretty busy myself, I don't know about you guys, with school and all, and I've got a job recently, and, uh, but today we're gonna do something kind of different, uh, I've been sort of kind of asked, I don't know, I've just kind of been known to give, like, decent advice on certain topics. So, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to let me know in the comments because I want to know like what kind of direction to take towards this like if you guys want me to do more videos in which I talk about topics like actual topics that you guys either suggest or that I pick myself then just go ahead and, and type something in the comments just relax while I while I talk over it because I'd really like to get your guys opinions on that I really like to um, get my followers and subscribers opinions but anyways let's go ahead and go forward with this um, I hope you guys have, have been having a good day I've been having a good, pretty good day myself I don't know if you guys have been around long enough to see that meme they had a while ago the best advice is given by single people or something like that or, or something along those lines and I'm sure you guys could find it I just did take the time to look for it myself but it's sort of kind of true because single people have sort of gone through more things than maybe somebody that's been dating has you know that's just it's kind of a little bit of a backwards logic but in a lot of cases that's typically what it is you know either people that have never been with somebody or they're just single you know and that's kind of what happened to me I've just had sort of bad experience in the past and I'm not angry at those experiences. I mean, I was at the time, but but I just really have used those experiences to just sort of kind of learn from them. Honestly, if those if those experiences did not happen to me, I wouldn't be as smart and as wise about these things as I am today. Because, you know, you can only say what you've kind of been through. What everything else is just sort of speculation. You don't really know what's gonna happen if you do this or whatever you know, if you're gonna trigger some kind of emotions or you know you guys know what I mean <laughs> but basically as far as getting a girl the first step is obviously you know communication you know the, the type of people that I'm targeting with this video is people that you know want to have something serious and they're not just joking around and just wanna you know just do whoever they can and move on with it that's not the type of people that I'm talking about that's not me this stuff can pretty much be used uh, across the board but as far as meeting people go if you don't have anyone like in your school per se uh, like me I, I you know I didn't have anybody in my school but at work I found somebody who you know I just thought I just happened to think was attractive and really nice and etc cetera, etc cetera. you know I've just kind of been observing how the person was and I was just like hey you know can I get your number and even though this didn't work out the way I wanted it to I still followed through because the girl happened to have a boyfriend but I still said you know I didn't ask to date you and it turned out fine you know it unless if the girl rejects you then don't worry about it anyways because if if a girl is gonna be like that then they're not gonna be a good girlfriend anyways they're, they're gonna treat you like ass if you still struggle to get them but basically the key to that in my words is don't think about it if you go and premeditate all this stuff like if you're like me you're gonna be a nervous wreck like if you start thinking about that like oh what if it goes wrong what if I mess up what if I do this no don't think any of that stuff just go up there and just speak your mind. Be you. Don't, and that's another thing. Do not be fake. Just be yourself. That's what girls, they like honesty. The good ones do anyways. <laughs> you know, granted, there's a lot of girls out there that fall for people like g Easy. Now, now, I'm not talking trash about g Easy. I use his music in a lot of my uh, social media videos. But the guy... For all intents and purposes, I mean, he's he's pretty much a womanizer, douche kind of type of guy. His music is really good, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, the stuff that he says, it just kind of, 
you know. Anyways, besides the point, it's just a matter of how you approach things. It's it's really delicate how you approach things. And if you don't do it the first time, you know, you're just gonna miss out and you're gonna kinda hate yourself for it. Just think that, like like in the middle of it, just kind of just kind of push yourself, you know. If you don't push yourself to new boundaries, you're gonna stay the same boring, non-productive, lame person that you were before. You know, that's how people change and become sort of smarter and wiser about things. They they get out there and they push themselves to do things they normally wouldn't do. They step out of their comfort zone to achieve whatever it is, you know. And once that happens. I mean, there you go, it's it's up for the taking. Now, back to the kind of story that I was going along with this. Even though it didn't turn out my way, you know, I, I still got a friend. You know, and I honestly am not even the, the slightest bit upset. I'm actually really happy because I pushed myself to do that and I and I thought in my mind, in the, in the back of my mind, I always thought to myself, you know, I can't do this. You know, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm gonna mess up. And that's always what, what, kept, what kept me back. You know, I always regretted there were so many opportunities throughout my life that I missed. All those opportunities missed was because I didn't push myself. And you can't do that. The longer you do that, the longer you're just gonna sit back and, you know, kind of maybe even be a little depressed about it, honestly. It, 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 it sort of leads to that. Now moving on, as far as keeping one, that's a whole different story. I mean, you gotta be pretty dedicated. And see, that's the thing. Right now, the in my in the position that I'm in, I'm honestly just so busy and just so kind of comfortable and relaxed in the sort of environment that I have. Oh, I shouldn't say comfortable and relaxed, at least not yet. Once I graduate from school, um, Things will be different. I'll, I'll have more rest and, you know, be able to out, put out more videos. Hopefully, I, I would like to get two videos out a day or something like that. And, uh, but anyways, let's try to stay on topic here. You gotta be really dedicated. Like, you gotta do, like, old-fashioned nice stuff. You know, a lot of girls, they like old-fashioned stuff. Like, sometimes sending a text isn't enough, you know. They like talking to you. They like, you know, kind of intermingling with your talents and, and things like that you, know, it, it, you just kind of gotta it all kind of comes down to just being yourself like in in not thinking about yourself so much that's you gotta put a lot of work into having someone so at the position that i'm in right now i'm leaning more towards not wanting a girlfriend than actually wanting one honestly now granted if, if some girl did come my way uh, you know, I would probably at least try a little bit, but not that much. And that's that leads me to another good point. You don't ever, 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 ever want to put 100% into a girl. Whether it's your 100% feelings, 100% money, anything. You want to always sort of have that little bit of independence as much as you can have of it anyways. Because at least until you can you know for a fact beyond a doubt and I'm talking about w through maybe like a year or two may sometimes more than that that you're gonna be safe with the person and they're not gonna just rip you off and just you know just just leave you like anybody else would because if you put 100% into somebody and they just randomly leave you one day or they cheat on you whatever the case may be everything that you did for them all those feelings all that time is gone to complete trash it's like they just set fire to everything that you gave them and, it, and essentially they metaphorically they did you know so that's that's another step of advice um as far as maintaining like like i was saying before they they like you can't think about yourself that much you gotta you gotta kind of always think of new ways to kind of interest them like a lot of people what they tend to do I mean I even found myself doing this in the past is they try as hard as they can to get a girl like they do everything they do all these nice things and then once they have the girl they feel secure and they feel safe and they feel comfortable 
And they don't do those things anymore. They don't do anything like that anymore. And then that's when every when things start getting dull, and the other person goes, "Oh, well, you know, I'm starting to kind of lose feelings for you. you know, that that may happen." And that's why you kind of always got to keep that effort going there. If you don't like somebody that much to keep that effort going, then just don't go for it. J just don't waste your time, you know? And along with that stuff comes, you know, the, the obvious. It's, you know, being honest and doing what you do and meaning what you say and not being savage with them, obviously. <laughs> Defending them, being protective, you know, it, it just... It all falls in hand in order to keep that momentum going that you started when you first wanted to get with the person. So that's basically it. I mean, if you guys have any exterior questions to what I was talking about today, you can go ahead and ask them in the comments. I wouldn't mind answering some more uh, if I didn't cover something. Or if you guys would like to suggest a different topic for me to talk about in the next video, um, be sure to do that in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do appreciate your audience. And you guys can follow me on my social media, which is linked in the description as usual. This is Sinister. Peace Warning. out. Hostile presence detected.